but follow my own advice, use a magic weapon. Notice I kept them unidentified because it makes them sell cheaper. So we'll rush the spawner. Get to right here, use a torch, then step through. Okay, boom, nice. Hopefully that doesn't wake up. Oh, it woke up. And you woke up too. Okay, trouble town. You know what? Let's go for it. Blink stone. Oh no, we should have heroic leap. Too late for that? I don't think so. Heroic leap. Woo! <laughs> that is why I choose heroic leap every time. Oh, bam. Get in here. Smack this up. Oh, you know what? I should have used corrosion. Oh well. I'm tempted to put another upgrade into the armor because then you're just completely invincible but no nah, this will do let's finish it off here that is some amazing gameplay isn't it almost tempted to go into Führer. maybe i will okay you're probably gonna teleport to me i really wish i had a way to knock it back yep there's teleport just set up the corrosion i'll just step back here remember to wait or else it's gonna teleport to you interesting thing is the corrosion's actually not doing so much damage anymore is it oh come on once i get that glaive we probably won't be using corrosion as much okay where next it's a big old maze thing sure so the the treasure chest for the maze is always at like one of the end spots. Try these spots out here. Like up here maybe? Up here? Oh, I can't go through because there's a frost trap. Okay. Frost trap's one of the less deadly traps for sure. Oh, we just barely got frozen. Here it is. It's a flail. Wah wah. As far as I know, there's rarely ever any. There's nothing else in those. Okay, let's just open up with some corrosion on the bad boy here. Do a couple of them. Why not? Then you'll sit there and charge. And while you're doing that, you can sit there and melt in the corrosion. Didn't even see the shot go off. Okay. Oh, look at his buddy down there. I think we have an extra turn before it goes off, so we can go ahead and layer that. Ooh, shot himself. Good for you. Good for you, indeed. There's a talent that has a knockback, right? They're knocked two tiles back. This could be fun for knocking things off of pits. I've never used it because generally, as the warrior, you want to stay in melee range, right? So you jump in. I could do this, though, just for the memes, for knocking things into pits. Two tiles is probably all we want. Just one point in there. We'll see. Let this stuff corrosion go away here. Okay, food. <laughs> probably hammer. Because it's going to teleport to me anyway, so it's shooting the corrosion right away. Not a big deal. Stay there. And just hit it. Maybe the corrosion will melt it. Nope. There we go. All right, that was pretty clean. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What do you stand in your own corrosion for? So the cool thing about these is even though it says they're completely immune to magical effects, they still melt from corrosive gas. Why is that? I don't know. We'll shoot some more down there. That one already died to it back there. Nice. So yeah, like this one won't work. The zero. But corrosion, for some reason, it works. I don't know why I didn't even bother to attack there. It should still melee. Even if I hit for like one, it's still one. Sense of deadly presence. Fakes. I think I'm going to eat some food. Like on a six challenge run, I usually like to eat you know, 75%. I don't wait till 50% like a normal run. No, don't throw it. Eat it. Yeah, I'm sick of these rations too. I understand wanting to throw them. So you're going to teleport to me no matter what. So let's just get a little damage in. It will corrode. Then we will run away a little bit. Do a little more. Run away a little bit here. Ooh, you're no good. So thanks to the hay string, I can just get out. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> so that was great because we came from out of line of sight and then it's, it shot it. That was funny. I just shot another one because I want to make sure they all die. There we go. And they both died. Great. Pass the turn a little bit. Let that corrosion dissipate. Hey, magic map in. Oh, torches out. Definitely use multiple torches for the demon halls. I mean, because we bought a bunch, so we have extra. But also because of the evil eyes attacking you from out of line of sight. Okay, so this is a levitation room here. Wait, we don't have any? Have we identified levitation? Yes. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find one soon. Really? So I don't know how long it's been charging. I'm going to guess just once. Just step back here. Throw a little more corrosion for funsies. And we'll start walking away. No, I think we drop another one maybe. Alrighty. This is actually kind of tough. Oops. For six challenges. Because the amount of time we spend waiting for the gas to disappear. You know, it really chips into our food supply. Anyways. Torch time. There's our levitation potion. Plate armor. Fantastic. Go ahead and root it in there. So here's a good idea with the warrior. When you are... I don't have a really safe place to run to dodge his laser. So let's go ahead and use that improvised projectile. So good. Tier 2 talent. And we'll blind it. So now since it doesn't see us, it's not going to start uh, charging up his laser. Unfortunately, it ran the wrong direction. I was hoping it would stay like at us at least. We'll go for the, uh, the root here into the corrosion. Okay, so you're not blind anymore. This is going to be a problem. 
So let's maybe just make some grass to hide behind. A little more corrosion. Oh boy. And we've done done it. So, okay, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Open the door. Allowing us to heroic leap out of here. Oh no, you're here in the way. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, that just really screwed us. I don't think you can heroic leap over enemies, right? That's why I got stuck there. Let's try it. You can heroic leap over enemies. Beautiful. And look, it gets shot with the laser. <laughs> That was a very satisfying ending to that. And we level up. What's this talent point? Uh, something we're not going to use. Whatever. Heroic leap time. Let's go. Can open doors with it. Nice. What I should have done is thrown two hammers and opened both these doors and then heroic leap through the whole thing. This is just gold, right? Uh, waste of time. Oh, well. I'll get it since I'm here. Okay. Actually, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. The hammers I will not keep any longer. Maybe we have something else we're not going to keep. All right, shurikens. Sure, why not? Mm, shurikens are actually more useful. Okay, one of corruption and something else I'm not going to use. But we, will, we will throw a cursed metal shard. Okay, this is going to be fun. Max heroic leap. Here. Yeah, Sparta. Boom, 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 kaboom. I couldn't even zoom in enough. It went so far. There really should be some distance limitations on it. That's, a, that's insane. I love it though. It's the best ability. So his buddy's going to teleport onto me, which is going to be a problem. Not too bad. There you go. They can both just sit there and hang out there for a while. Good. You want to sit there as well? You want to be rooted? Nice. If we had a glaive, we would just sit there and smack it with the glaive, but that'll do. I'm the plus six blade armor, but yet still attacking from range. Don't hit me style berserker. I know. It's messed up. Come on, glaive. We want a glaive. What is that? Hmm... Don't love it. Don't love it at all. I think because the grass broke line of sight, it's not going to hit me. I think it's going to shoot right up here. So I'm going to pass there in just a test. Yeah, look at that. A shot where it last saw me. I think those guys take like at least two charges. Yep, there you go. It's dead. We'll check out this direction. Step back and eat some food where nothing can see me. Yeah, we're running low on food. It's no good. We just have to check these little areas here. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm thinking? So a locked door, you can still jump to. Nice, it just crashes you into it. Keep the grass up. Or block in line of sight. Very useful. But yeah, let's go back this way. You jumping at me there? Go for it. See what I care. I could just go into this great shield too. Become permatank? Yeah, you know what? Maybe we go into the great shield. I thought that there was that one for sure. Identify. Yeah, let's do that. We don't need a glaive. We'll just be permatanky. Yeah, but plus three ring of haste. All right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. We are permatank. Doing permatank things. There's a certain point when, like, Pulling on to the upgrades become like not quite as worth it. So this is just an ammo room. Not necessarily needed as much. Ooh, okay, you are projecting projector. Just drop all the corrosion in one place and start running. And then hold the door and you all just be stuck there. How you like that? those apples? Drop some more. Have some more. I'll go around this direction. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe we have to circle back because of all the corrosion we just laid there. Ooh, it hurt pretty bad. Okay, I'm going to try the impact wave for the memes for the knockback. See if I can knock some people off of cliffs with it. Or pits, I mean, whatever. Off of ledges. Toxic gas, paralytic gas, and experience, huh? These three... Toxic Paralytic Experience. Let's identify him. Experience. Nice. Toxic. So Paralyzing Gas, there are you. I think with the Ring of Haste, I can step on this corrosion, Corrosive Trap and run out of range before I take damage. Oh, it took a little bit. Not that bad. Oh, did you see that? The Scorpio. It's a giant Scorpio. 
You know what? Disintegration trap? Go. I'm pretty sure it destroys the item I throw, so let's throw something else. Let's throw one of these. Only did 13 damage. <laughs> no thanks. We'll go blind it up there. Corrosion on here. Keep the corrosion going. Go for the root. All right, still can't see me. I don't know where I can see it though. That's strange. I have a lot of hammers. Oh, it's because I use this. That's why I can see it. Nice. That's actually really nice. We've got some tridents now, right? If we step towards it, it'll run away. Back into the corrosion, which is kind of nice. It won't attack us. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> I think the best thing actually to do is to get into melee. Oh, no. Actually, that's a bad. That's a bad. This is going to shoot him. Let's try this again. I think it'll just hit me once. Hey, good. At least I didn't get crippled. Maybe they'll both die. Um, yes. We know what we should do. Right, right, right. Take my own memory into account and remember to blind that thing first. And then drop the corrosion on it. It's a, a blind's about to wear off, but I want to make sure it stays good and corroded. So now we can go around the corner. Should be okay here. Ooh, you don't see me. Come and get your corrosion. Come and get it. These things actually do physical damage, so you can um, get by like tanking them. You have range options. This is like a frost trap room. So I'm noticing the plus eight corrosion falling off on damage wise a little bit, but it's okay because we have our other options for damage. There's an upgrade scroll. And we're tanky enough. We're not like glass cannon build or nothing. We're actually pretty, pretty tanky. So why is there a trap? <laughs> That's where magic mapping is really huge because like they have traps in spots where you can't actually avoid them. Frost trap at least we can just run through. Think. Yes. We're a little chilled, but I think we'll be okay. I don't know if I actually want to uh, corrode there because I think it's just going to jump at me. Now we can corrode here. I believe no one will be jumping at me. And we'll hold the door here. Hold the line. Ooh, look at that. Get in there, succubus. Get corroded. All of y'all. Oh, really? <laughs> nice choke point we got here. Look at that. Since it's charging its laser, no one can even run past it. Of course, now we're stuck in this behind this trap. Hey, who's up there? I'm going to... No. As I said, I was going to sit there and get it to start lasering so it wouldn't run at me. But it actually, since it has that damage reduction when it's lasering, it's probably better just to keep it running at you. Leveling up some more. What do we got here? The double jump for cheap? Sure. Give that one a try. This guy hasn't charged up his jump at me yet. Nice. I am surprised by that. Kind of need one more inventory space here for, for our hammers. Okay, now they're jumping. I see it. saw it trigger that time. Oh, they're double jumping. Or maybe not. Oh, that thing just died up back there. Nice. So for this floor, we just have that area left, huh? Great. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Ah, yes, the fur. I was wondering why we attacked twice in a row. What is this? Ooh, transmutation. Nice. A wand or a ring. Pretty happy with my rings. We'll see what we got for wands. Get out of here. <laughs> Evil, cute evil laugh. So I hope this is, I mean, even if this is cursed, I will uncurse this one for sure. Definitely worth using. Not cursed, beautiful. I think we even upgrade its place, its position in the uh, lineup here. Oh boy, we are running. Well, we could knock back. Oops, misclick. We are running. Oops. 
Okay, we messed up. It's okay. We're still running. We actually have a great choke point going on here. Look at all this. I'll hold the door here. I think we can just duck around this corner. Okay, it wakes you up. But I won't... Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Let's check out this... Mm. Okay, we are jumping to... I kind of want to get up to there. So let's just jump to... Let's jump to here. <laughs> Nice. A torch. There's still guys back there, so I'll just shoot some corrosion back there. Hey, something died. Oh no. No, 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 no. Blind. Up. Corrosion. Root. Oh no, 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 no. This is not looking good. More corrosion. Oh, that guy's hitting me. The blind wore off. I'm charmed. Blind you. Uh oh. Run away. Close the door. <laughs> Drink a health potion. It's sloppy. I'm, I know I'm messing up, but I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's not a lot of fun. Oh, you can hit me through there? Oh, I see. The uh, Thylus is holding the door open. Oh, this is a summoning trap room. Beautiful. Can I even hit this? No. It fell down the pit. <laughs> it's fine. Well, I don't want to trigger that quite yet because I still feel like I've got a massive amount of enemies coming at me. Yeah. Hey. There you go. Yeah. Go for the blind. Did that even... Oh, it's on cooldown. Right, right. I need to take a couple melee hits, actually, and get my glyph charging up. Gotcha. Alrighty, so we can do some crafting here. Already crafting's done. Let's get into this summoning trap time. Oh, I don't really have enough charges, actually. I could use potions. Hmm. I wonder how many charges I need. Let's start with some fire here. Throw it right there. Into you. Interesting, it didn't trigger the chain reaction. This should. There we go. And the corrosion down there. Thinking if I should try and step back or not. One thing I can do is just go invisible. Now we use the invisibility potion, never mind. We made it into Shard and Fog. Let me just step back here. They're, they're charging their lasers. They're gonna zap all these guys. Get a corrosion right here quick. Oh, it got away. I think I'm gonna go this way and avoid the zaps there. And you're actually body blocking for me, so I like that. Make a little grass, hide behind the grass here. Shoot this so we can see what's going on. Got people still alive. Got people burning. Got some corrosion back there. But oh, you can see me, huh? That's no good. So better get out of here. Jump to lake right here. Around this corner. I'm in the corrosion, so I better get around this corner. Still in the corrosion. You guys can hit me from there, huh? No good. I can actually trade damage though because uh, I'm tanky enough. So they can sit in the corrosion and I'll trade damage with them there. Just wanted this guy to come through so I could hammer him, but I guess that's not going to happen. Well, I think we did it. We got a level. Almost two levels. Got some stuff. Nice. Well, that was fun. At the very least, like that's always just fun. I, I like doing it. Okay, it's garden... Go for the blind, maybe, yeah? Blind it. Then we'll just smack it a bunch. Really? See if this works where it comes through? The door trick? No, it went somewhere else? Okay. 
Oh, hello. Now let's root it. Now where are you gonna go, huh? Yeah, they don't counterattack, do they? Hey, get back here. Oh, right, I forgot. I also have the haste ring, so I can just, like, run them down. I think about that. As long as they, um, don't cripple me ahead of time. So if we just, like, make a little grass there, I can chase them down. Where are you going? <laughs> it's nice to get a little revenge on these Scorpios, because they can be an absolute terror sometimes. Well, we didn't explore this area yet, so let's do that. Okay, nothing. Trinets are good. Also good is keys leading to these guys. Food. Nice. We're done. Okay, boss time. I think they drop. Sometimes you can get some meat off those Scorpios as well. Heat up. And let's just go for it. I didn't get a jump and do a shockwave. I didn't get a heroic leap anybody into any pits. I think. Forgot. Hello, Grub. I can't hit this guy at all. There we go. Fire fist and light fist. Let's get the um, arcane armor up first. I think we can just run away here. Oop, dodge that one. And let's go ahead and get up the... Well, I don't know where it is yet. There it is. Let's go ahead and get up the... Dragon's Blood Elixir. I think we just engage on Light Fist here. I went all this way to just never use the Corrosion Wand. <laughs> I'll just tank them the rest of the way. Oops, supposed to move down. There we go. Yeah, sure, we'll get the Corrosion going back on this guy while he walks towards us. And we're using the Fire Fist to body block the uh, range attacks from the Light Fist here. Just keep throwing the corrosion ahead of it. Make sure it stays ticking up. Yeah, it's going to die. There we go. That one's down. I think we'll just keep meleeing this guy. Look, our Berserker talent actually went up for the second time this whole run. Let's get up to 150 before we use it. Or actually, maybe I'll just keep it up for the bonus damage. Let's check it out. Getting 50% bonus damage. Might as well just use that. There we go. Smack you down. Perfect. And moving on. Should we corrode? I guess we'll corrode. Let's get them all at once. Corrosion keeps me... Oh, look. I didn't even realize we got to the next phase. Okay. So we've got Gassy Boy, and we've got the Dark One. We'll even get around the corner before it shoots me. Yep. Oh, no. You guys have to know where I am, though. Okay. Surely you both know where I am now. I'm down here. Great. So now we will use our elixir of toxic essence, and then we'll be safe from this guy. Step back. We need this guy to come off the uh, off the temple there. Let's get the ooze off us, and I think we just focus you down here. Um, I think we could drink a health potion. Because if you misclick and don't step out of the laser, that's going to hurt. It teleports away. Another thing you can do when it teleports is drink a mind vision and see where it is. Because now we know we can start shooting some corrosion down here. Maybe shoot another one like right up here. It's dying pretty quickly to that corrosion as well. Yeah, okay, health potion. Keep that corrosion going. Maybe probably turn and burn the lower health target there that... So our toxic's wearing off. I think I should get in the water here. Well, watch that. Oh, I'm in corrosion though. Eeks. I was going to say I should wash that uh, caustic ooze off. Wait for the laser to fire, then I'll get back. Okay, we'll heal up. Another thing we can do is drink this now. Aquatic rejuve. And now we're standing in the water. We'll heal every turn because of it. 219 points left. This guy's also bleeding, so we could run away and just let the bleed tick down, but I think we have enough healing. How many potions we have? Five more? Yeah. We have this as well. But we have that as well. Oops. <laughs> I was hoping to get to level 30 first, but I guess I'm not getting to level 30. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Let's level up. Let's drink the might. Now let's kill us first. 
Or run away. Let the bleed kill it. There we go. Better get out of the toxic because our buff, our immunity buff's about to wear off. Good. Drink the mite. Get some bonus strength and some bonus hit points. I guess I'm still spreading the toxic. Knock it off. It's good to stay on top of the ads. Kill them when they come out. Don't let them pile up. And just slow, you know, slow burn. So we got the last two. It's going to be the bronze one and the other one. Brown one. Okay, so fire for the grass guy. And this guy will just kill. Oh, you're rooting me, are you? Okay, light up the fire. Because we want to burn away its protective grasses. Right here. And if we wanted to, we could even, like, get in a clever place and get that guy stuck. Oh, it didn't get stuck. Ooh, 40. You're pulling me. Use the corrosion. A little corrosion and running. Sure, why not? This is really nice to use. You can just always see where they are. We knock it back and we knock ourselves back as well. Let's just uh, shoot some more corrosion here. That's health potion up. All right, I can melee it somewhere probably, right? This guy's down there taking damage though, which is nice. Oh, what happened? Oh, I got rooted. I think, did we save a left potion? Yeah, we did. We saved a couple of them. Get rid of that root. Keep the corrosion going down on you. It doesn't know where we are. And it's stuck there. Oh yeah, it's stuck. It can't get through. Because this fist is a chunky fist, so it actually can't get through there. We'll just chill. Did it die? Oh, oh yeah, you've defeated Soiled Fist. That's you, right? Did the music change? Yes, the music changed. So we do know we're on the final phase. Let's go ahead and run the long way. So all you guys are after me. I've got a haste ring. I don't know if this is blocked or not. Let's risk one for the bisque one. Let's get for the biscuit. Oh, we never enchanted our shield. Oops. Let's see, if we got it. Oh, I think we got it. Yep, yeah, we did. Nice. There was a chance that there could have been a like a larva or another enemy in the way. GG, y'all. We got Yogg down. Let's enchant this. What do we win? Chilling? Nah. Try another one. Shocking. Okay, shocking's one. Okay, let's ascend. And we're done with the warrior. Hooray. One of the least fun classes. Just have to ascend quick. Ascending with the heroic elite is very, very fun. Actually, I think the heroic elite makes up for the fact that, you know, continue. The warrior so tank and spanky. You know what else we can do? Actually, I was going to say we can hit up these haste potions, but once the curse gets high, it doesn't matter anyway. So what we do here, little trick, is step here. Because if we get too far away, it'll warp to us. So we want to keep it one square away. So if we were to go up there, it's kind of intuitive to like run away. But in this case, with those guys, you don't want to run too much. Because then you'll trigger their warping ability. Oh, geez. What's hitting me? I need a torch. Ooh, shocking enchantment. Go. Something's hitting me. I don't like it. Oh, it's you. Gonna paralyze into a corrosion. Just want to get out of the way here so I can light a torch. I think we have to kill this one. It's too annoying. Oh, there it is. That's enough. That'll kill it. Oh, I went too far and I got back in his vision. <laughs> Oops, my bad. That's funny. Someone's down here. I saw that door open. It's a Scorpio. Good thing for me, we have the haste ring and we can actually run them down. Look at that. Would you look at that? It's going to kill it to trigger the uh, the trap there. Experience potion. Thank you. Perfect. Just what we needed. Go oh, in the double jump. Three tiles back. Okay. Keep that in mind. If we do knock that, we do try and knock someone into a pit. It's three tiles. Where are you? There you are. Kind of a bummer here. I think this should paralyze it. No, did nothing. The goggles, they do nothing. Go this way. <laughs> Maybe he'll kill it. Maybe he won't. Oh, yeah, we killed it. Nice. Just took a couple turns. Hmm, we shouldn't. No, I'm just going to run away. That should be enough damage. 
Look at all this corrosion. It's a mess. Let's jump over it. Okay, where are you? There you are. Alrighty, fantastic. Now the thing I always forget to do is take a nap here. Get our charges back up. Mainly the heroic elite. That's what we want up. Right away. So it's focused, so we'll just go ahead and break the focus. Maybe we'll take out one more. Nah, we'll just keep moving. Do we have a frost potion? That was a blast. No, we don't have to fight. Let's not fight champions. Uh oh, now we're stuck though. Guess we're gonna have to fight some champions. Four tiles back to be safe that we don't get it spread on us. Let's move on to this guy here. Keep the corrosion going on these guys in front of me. You're blessed. Bless suck. But I'm corroded. So four tiles was not safe. Um, now I'm burning. Okay, this is bad. Find healing potion. Kill it. Kill it. I was going to say step into the water to stop burning, but uh, it's not working, is it? Funny thing, though, with this guy is we can knock it back and keep it stuck in the corrosion back there. I need the corrosion here to dissipate. One square, please. One square, please. Knock this guy back. Since it's paralyzed, we well, at least we won't miss. Switch up our hockeys because we're throwing stuff away and we're moving on to new things. Just kill it. No. Kill it. Using the wand because it won't miss. We actually tank that whole fire. What a waste. Come on, corrosion. But you know why? It's because it's in a skinny hallway. It takes way longer to dissipate than if it was in an open room. So let's just run back this way. Okay, no. <laughs> we're not. One did. Beautiful. Another one. Oh, it's on cooldown. Right, right, right. Jump. That was a bad jump. Well, this goes to show that even on six challenges, you can get a far enough ahead where you can play kind of sloppy. Your focus, don't matter. You get a smack. Then we can blast wave it like back in there so it just kind of gets stuck on it. Get stuck in the corrosion for a little while. Oh jeez. Well, we are forced to kill a bunch of stuff, which is fine. The curse is green now, so it'll let us run around, run around for a bit here. Scry. Okay. Perfect area to knock people off of pits, but I had no people. Caves. So yeah, we'll finish this run, and then we will be able to up date to 2.3 and check out the new quest which I was reading about and it was like said it may take even longer than the other case quest so not super psyched about that to be honest but is what it is okay we have max curse again so we better kill some stuff we go for the knockback paralyze because I don't want it healing all right we're actually doing pretty good damage with our shield nice so where's a good leap place this could be a good place to leap Oh, better kill you. Get the corrosion going and then like constantly knock it back into it. Nice. Great. I kind of want my tridents here. Actually, you know what? Fine. Self-imposed challenge. I'll leave my range stuff on the ground. Um, We need to blind this puppy. There we go. Fortunately, I have plenty of tankiness. Yeah, I'm invincible. Plus six, plus five. Goodness. Too strong for our own good here. I think the trick with these guys is to get the corrosion to come up and get them in the back. So when I'm tanking them, they'll corrode a little bit. You're blazing. Uh, I guess we gotta stop and fight you here then. You got your buddy. You know what? I want you to get close to me so your buddy burns as well. When it blows up. There we go. Should be good. Oh, never mind. Because we're in the water. Dang. Let's just jump. There we go. Nice prison time. We're making quick work of this. This goes to show. Oh, you think so? I don't think so. How's that? Enjoy that. One more hammer? Great. It blocked it. Oh, geez. No, no, no. We need a torch. So you drop the corrosion back here. Maybe you'll get them all. Step into melee with this guy here. 
Nice. Oh yeah, they're corroding. Right? Barely. Come on. There we go. Fuck, fuck, fuck. So we have a rage building up, so the Great Shield's actually going to do a little bit of more damage. I wonder if it tells you how much more. Not really. Not really. Let's try this. Heroic Leap behind it. Knocks it back there, paralyzes it. <laughs> then we run away. <laughs> okay, finally we pulled off some utility. Finally we did something kind of cool. Ooh, okay, this will be cool. Here we go. Let's see here. Get to this square. I need more range things just to open doors. We'll use our darts. Our, our overpowered blinding darts. You're now door stops. Heroic leap onto the steps. Oh bam. A GG. Let's go. Let's go heroic leap. If you thought the answer was heroic leap, you are correct. So if you find yourself in a tough situation and you're asking yourself a question, how do I get out of this tough situation? Well, have you tried heroic leaping? Have you tried heroic leaping today? Let's uh, have a little nap. Recharge our hero heroic leaps. Nice. So if you ever see me coming around knocking on your door and I have a little pamphlet in my hand, it's because I want to introduce you to the good word of heroic leaping. Not everyone has heard the good news. Heroic leaps are back. Go with the peril. Uh, I want to step back so I don't get paralyzed and then I can paralyze it. Then I can corrode it and then I can just shoot it a little bit here. I heard something die in the distance. It was not the, that crab. It might have been a previous crab. Let's go. Let's prep with the corrosion behind it first and then knock it back. Bam. There you go. How you like that? I didn't like it that much. Root it. Corrode it. Run away. Okay, one down. These actually don't do any damage to me. Maybe I should just punch them. Crab punchers punch on. Fly punchers punch on. Punch, punch. Dodge. Knock it off. Oh no, I'm surrounded. What have we done? Ooh, our rage is building up at least. I'm so angry. Let's get out of here. We also have a haste string, so since we're... I think since our curse is low enough. Hey, look. <laughs> it's our water skin. You stay there. You're good water skin. Stay there. Be good. Alrighty. Let's go. Floor three. I guess we better kill you. Your little null pup. The misses are just too much sometimes. Floor two. No more crabs. We are crab free. Go. How is our healing potion situation? Two left. Beautiful. Shouldn't need more than that. Oh, you think you're going to catch me? You are going to catch me. That's right. Oh, can't resist a little corrosion here, though, can we? Yes. Melt. My pretty is melt. Okay, final floor, yeah? Yes. Well, fantastic. We have... What's left to do? Not too much. Look at these onks. No one wants you to get out of here. Look at these healing potions. Only one. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm sorry. Let's run away. We did it. How's the score on that one? 900,008. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, we messed up a couple things there. Bosses. Explosion treasure, of course, but it's a speed run. It's not the point. Anyways, who is left? Who is left indeed? Um, I don't even remember. I think we have an assassin and warden, and I think we're done. I'll double check, but we're almost done all 10 subclasses in a row on six challenges. Fantastic. Gonna upgrade to 2.3 here soon and check out the new quest. Thanks for sticking with me. And if you watch till the very end, you get the fortune cookie quote of the day. It is this cookie tastes good, but it was actually made with cheap flour and oil. But enjoy anyways, because that's what life is all about. Enjoy it anyways. All right, punch us, punch on, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.